that in my day-to-day -day life, I spend a pretty good amount of time either with Bluetooth earbuds in, I've got over-the-ear headphones on, maybe I've even got a set of gaming headphones on. At any rate, I spend a lot of my day with something on my head playing audio. I've talked in the recent past about a couple of different sets of earbuds. I've done some reviews of some wireless earbuds. And I think that wireless earbuds do a lot of things really well, but there's a few places where they fall short. So what I wanna to talk to you guys today about is why I think that these guys here, the Surface headphones, are the best thing to pair with your Surface Duo or really any device or set of devices if you are a productivity-minded person. So basically, this is why I think the Surface headphones are the best headphones on the market in terms of productivity, getting things done. So before we go too much further, what I wanna do is I wanna stop and give a device overview here and talk about the hardware of the Surface headphones because I think it's actually important that it plays into why I think these are the best headphones around for productivity. So the first thing you'll notice about the Surface headphones is that they are very, very minimal. There's not a lot going on here. The, bit, the thing to me that stands out the most about them is the depth of the ear cups. In fact, when you're wearing them, it's kind of funny. You actually, you kind of look like Mega Man, you know, the way that these are shaped sticking out of the side of your head. On the right ear cup, you have your headphone jack, you have a USB charging port, which is awesome. You have a mic mute button and then you have the power button. And that's it in terms of physical buttons. And that's really all you need because on either ear cup, you have this rather large touch sensitive area where one tap is play pause, two taps is skip, three taps is skip the other direction and a long press triggers your assistant of choice, be that Google assistant uh, or what have you. And those taps actually work really well. They seem to be pretty responsive and haven't really had any problems out of them. But the thing that makes the Surface headphones awesome to me is the fact that the, these dials on the side rotate. So you have two of these rotating dials. One of them changes your volume and the other one changes your noise cancellation from all the way noise canceled out to uh, audio pass through where you can actually hear the world around you or have a conversation without needing to even take them off. When you're talking about productivity, what slows down productivity? Well, it's having to remove your headphones or pull your phone out of your pocket to alter your noise canceling, to skip a track, to pause a track, to change your volume, and all of those functions, everything you need to do with your headphones are present on the Surface headphones without having to do anything. You can leave them on and do exactly what you need to do. I find Google Assistant works relatively well as well, long pressing and then saying a command for what you know you want it to do, play a certain track. The headphones themselves are pretty comfortable. Uh, the ear cups are quite soft and, and cushiony. They're deep enough that my ear is not contacting the hard plastic inside. They can be adjusted to fit you know, a rather small head or a rather large head. For me, I'm not a very large person, so I wind up kind of being in about this area and that fits just fine for me. Everything has this nice, soft, smooth touch to it. They feel good. Now to this point, I've not actually mentioned if I'm talking about the Surface headphones one or two, and the reason is because it really doesn't matter. From a physical standpoint, everything I just told you is true on both the Surface headphones one and two. They are physically identical. The differences between them are really minimal. The audio quality is apparently ever so slightly better on the Surface headphones too. But from what I've seen from reviews from websites like Sound Guys who really dig in and look at the, the capability of the output of sound, not a big difference there. The noise canceling is very similar. You get a little bit better battery life out of the twos, 15 hours on the ones versus like 20 on the twos. And some people get freaked out about that because some of these headphones have 30 hours of battery life. Well, I don't know what you're going to be doing for 30 hours that you don't have an opportunity to plug this thing in, especially considering it's got a USB-C port, which is what you charge your phone, your switch, whatever, what your laptop potentially. 15 hours on the ones has never really been a problem for me. You know, to plug this thing in once every three days or something is not a big deal. What flight will you be on that you can't charge it 
for 15 hours. I, I, I don't know what the circumstance there is. So whether you're talking about the Surface Headphones 1 or 2, all I'm going to say is going to be true either way. There's not a big enough difference to really differentiate. Now what I will say is that the Surface Headphones 2 are $250. The Surface Headphones, uh, the originals can be found as cheap as $150. I have seen them online. So, you know, if, if the 1s are $150 and the 2s are $250, I don't think there's a hundred dollars of difference between the ones and the twos, but that's something you'll have to decide on your own, what you'd want to do there. In terms of call quality, I've had no complaints. I've taken quite a few phone calls on these headphones and everybody says they can hear me just fine. I'm crystal clear. I've had none of the Bluetooth issues with the Surface Duo that a lot of other people have had. But with these Surface headphones, I can have my Surface Duo on a table and I can, you know, walk into the other room and I'm, I'm fine. Some people are saying just in their pocket, they're having some connectivity issues. I've not seen that. For me, it's been quite good and the call quality has been equally good. So in the same vein as how I made a video talking about how Surface Duo helps me get things done, how do these Surface headphones help me get things done. Well, as someone whose workflow involves moving between multiple devices, multiple screens, moving around a lot, they work really, really well for that. And there's one big feature that makes that really possible for me, and it's the ability to be paired to two devices at the same time. So I can put these guys on, and you can get a sense here of, of how they look just on my head, and you can see the Mega Man look here, which, you know, do you like that? Do you hate that? That's really going to be a point of preference. Personally, I don't really care one way or the other. I'm not concerned with how I look. I mostly wear them uh, in the house anyway, so I don't really care. But I digress. If I have these things on, I have them paired to my Surface Duo and to my Surface Pro 7. And when you power them up, it will say to you, you have X amount of hours remaining. You're paired to Surface Duo and you're paired to whatever your other laptop is. For me, it says SP7 because that's what I have that laptop named. So what does that mean? What does it mean to be paired to two devices simultaneously? What that means is I can be on my laptop and I can be listening to a news story. Maybe I'm using Edge's ability to read a, an article to you. So I'm, I'm gathering information. And then maybe something gets sent to me on Twitter and I need to look at a link and watch something there. Well, I can pick up my duo, hit play on that video. This will pause on its own without me having to do anything. And then it will start playing the audio from my duo. I don't have to turn off Bluetooth, turn on Bluetooth, connect, disconnect. I don't have to do anything like that at all all it just works and we're talking about productivity here what makes the surface duo a productivity powerhouse it's multitasking it's two things at once well, what makes the surface headphones great at productivity it's multitasking it's the ability to move between things easily it's the ability to not have to pull out your phone to change the noise cancellation all you have to do is turn the dial it's the ability to switch from device to device without having to pull out your phone or change any settings. And then if you want to get really crazy, it does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And what I do a lot in front of my computer, I have two little speakers that I use for my computer's audio. One of them has an output for 3.5 mil on it. So I can sit here and plug these things in wired and use them to edit videos on. And because they have a very flat audio curve, I can edit videos with these things on. I don't have to worry about any software fixing problems in my audio, whether I'm recording music or whether I'm editing a video. It's going to sound out of these things like it should sound. It's going to sound natural and I can edit with these things. And since I'm plugged in, wired, there's no lag, there's no delay. It's very easy to edit with these things on and the noise cancellation is there. So I'm not going to get distracted by anything happening around me. So let's talk about just audio quality here for a moment. They're pretty good. They're not the greatest sounding headphones I've ever worn, but they're certainly not the worst. I think that they sound pretty darn good. And if you go into the Surface Audio app, either on on your computer or on your Android device, you can go in and, and, and play with an equalizer and dial this thing in to sound about how you like it. I had to boost the mids and highs just a little bit to pull them out a little bit. They sounded a little bit muffled with any of the equalizer settings, the defaults, the presets that are in there by default. But with a little bit of tweaking, I find that they sound pretty darn good. And if you want to have a flat equalizer it's right there flat preset for editing it's right there for you it's gonna work really well and those presets are saved on the device so when you go from device to device you're not changing your preset at all it's consistent like that it's really well done as for the noise cancellation you've got all these different degrees of cancellation so as you rotate this dial 
you'll literally you'll hear the world slowly getting quieter until it's pretty well blocked out and if you're like me and live in a uh, a neighborhood with houses nearby like right now there's a guy outside. i can hear him using his leaf blower well if i put this thing on that's gone i'm not going to hear any of that at all and the pot the pass through mode is actually something that i love because you can turn it all the way the other direction you'll hear a high a high pitched beep instead of a lower pitched beep and that signifies you are now in audio pass through mode so that if you're outside somewhere and you're at a, at a store and you need to speak to someone you don't have to take them off to talk to someone just rotate that dial beep now you can hear what they're saying if you do take them off it does automatically pause what you are listening to so if that doesn't work well for you or you feel uncomfortable maybe you feel like they won't think that you can hear them you can pop them off it'll pause what you're listening to just like that put it back on and it'll resume i think that my biggest complaint with the surface headphones is going to be subjective so someone that wears glasses i have always struggled to find headphones that i can wear for hours at a time in fact the ones that i i wear to game and so forth and which are my longest sessions are these steel series arctis sevens that are beginning to get worn out and the reason that i like them so much is because the pressure on your head where it, it pinches is very very minimal but it's enough and how it works is you have this fabric piece here that you have velcro and it's it's a stretchy piece of fabric so you you, you adjust the length of that just so and then the weight of the headphones on you in conjunction with that piece of elastic is what actually creates the pressure so the result is that my glasses aren't getting jammed into the sides of my head super hard with the surface headphones you have to be careful to get this size just right you know too far and they're gonna you know they're not gonna fit correctly too far in and they're gonna be really tight and they're gonna squeeze the crap out of your head I've had a little bit of difficulty there where after an hour and a half, two hours, they're starting to pinch me a little bit and I'm starting to get a little bit sore. But I went through like 10 sets of headphones before settling on the Arctis 7s and these are pretty close. So guys, whether you're using a Surface Duo or just a regular Android phone, but you're, you're focused on productivity, I guess it works on iOS as well. If you're focused on productivity, the Surface headphones, one or two, are definitely worth a look because they're focused on not distracting you, not getting in your way. They're just there and they're just going to work. You're not gonna have to fiddle with your phone. You're not gonna have to fiddle with weird controls that don't work correctly, volume, noise cancellation. It's all just not in your way. And I think that's the best thing I can say about the Surface headphones is that they just don't get in my way of getting things done. Whatever I need them to do, device to device, they just do what I expect them to do and they just work. So guys, what headphones do you use when you're doing things like I'm talking, when you're trying to get things done, or maybe you're just listening to music to distract you from the world around you? Perhaps you're listening to podcast Revived, which can be found on iTunes, Spotify, and YouTube alike. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Maybe you already have a set of Surface headphones. I'd love to know what you guys think of pairing the Surface headphones with your device or with the Surface Duo, if that happens to be your device of choice. So stay tuned for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. If you enjoy my content, please consider becoming a Scary If Literal member. You'll get access to a whole bunch of emoticons to use with live streams and a shout out on an upcoming video. Thanks as always for your continued support.